Hello and welcome to the One to One podcast where we dive deep into the stories and successes of BNI members across the globe and more specifically across Utah. I'm your host, Matt Kalunke. I'm the founder of Zing Business Systems. And today we start with a special guest from the heart of Utah. His name is Austin Kalunke. Austin is the BNI Utah Summit Chapter Vice President, and he is the service manager at Absolute Automotive. He has worked there and has become a pivotal part of their operation. He's in charge of all the customer facing operations and coordinating sales and repair drop off and pick up. I just would like to ask you a couple of questions off and I appreciate you taking the time. First off, tell me a little bit about Absolute, its mission and what services you guys provide. So Absolute Automotive, we're a full service auto shop based right here in Aura. Our mission is to provide the highest quality of service to our customers at the best value. We do so with knowledge and years of experience in the industry and try to help people understand their car problems and how to avoid potential issues in the future. Is there something that Absolute Auto is really well known for? If you had to pick three specialties, what would those primary specialties be? Probably some of our specialties are diesel engines and transmissions. We're also known for our expertise in electronic diagnostics and repairs. So we are able to diagnose both wired problems and circuit board issues on components of the vehicles. And honestly, we're known for our good customer service as well. That's interesting. With vehicles becoming more and more computer driven, chip driven, what have you seen in the course of your time at Absolute? Have you seen in terms of changes from the mechanics side, from the operations side? Things are just becoming more advanced, more sensors on the systems that have potential to go bad and comes check engine lights as well as drivability issues on the vehicles. Yeah. Tell me about your experience with BNI. How long have you been with the Summit Chapter? Well, I've been in the Summit Chapter for a little bit over a year now. At Absolute Automotive, we're currently in three different BNI chapters here in the Utah County area, ranging anywhere from about 16 years in one chapter. And I've been in this BNI group a year. Okay. What kind of impact does BNI have on Absolute Auto? It's been able to actually grow our business to the point where we really don't do any other kind of marketing, you know, paper SEO type advertising, anything like that. So word of mouth referrals have grown our business to the point that BNI tracks it for tier one, tier two, tier three referrals. And we've probably gained over the years tier seven, tier eight referrals just with People who came to us and had a good experience, recommending their friends and family. Have you seen any particular impact to Absolute Auto as a principal that you and owner Luke and the other manager, Russ, have you seen in terms of operations and the way that your business has developed, what effect have you seen as a result of being on? I think one of the main things is accountability is we have to be accountable for both of our customers and BNI chapter members. I know whenever I walk into the pick up my car or have work done, inevitably I see somebody from one or the other BNI groups, either they're dropping off a car or heading out the door or just coming in as I'm going out. Is there a particular strategy that you use in making sure that you are accountable to yourselves and to BNI? Not necessarily. I really think it's just providing the highest level of customer service that we can, being there for our customers basically 24 seven. If we were to hop on a time machine and go forward five or 10 years from now, and you look back at Absolute, what would Absolute look like 10 year point or that five year point? The more long-term goal for Absolute is to be able to grow and expand Right now we have about eight full-time technicians. Realistically, I would like to double that in that time where we just be able to provide more customers with the same level of support. Grow bigger without losing that personal touch. 
have you seen any skill cross-pollination, things that you bring from the automotive business to BNI or you take back from BNI? I wouldn't say specifically from the automotive industry, more just being the manager, I oversee a lot of people and that transfers directly to my leadership role with the BNI chapter, being able to oversee different members and hold them accountable for actually attending the meeting and kind of weeding out people who are trying to join the group where they may not be as reliable as some other sources that could join the group. So I've been with Absolute Automotive for about 10 and a half years now. I started there back when I was in high school and started with the basics, doing oil changes, brake jobs, kind of basic things. Eventually I transferred over to the electronics side we actually rebuild instrument clusters there as well. So like speedometer gauges, those kinds of things, and a lot of General Motors vehicles that are common for fault. And that's kind of where I transferred. And I learned everything I know as far as electronics repair on circuit boards and wiring as well. All right. Now, over that course of almost 11 years now, how many technicians have you guys had? I think we probably had about 15, 16 different technicians. We try and treat our mechanics as best we can, keep them happy and keep us happy and keep our customers happy. And that's one thing that I've noticed about Absolute over the years is that you guys have a tendency to bring people in and keep them for a long time. And I don't know if that's part of your interaction or at Blue and Russ, or if it's just the overall management perspective. But uh, I've certainly appreciate it. Create a good work environment. Nobody wants to go to work just dreading seeing other coworkers or customers as well. So we try and have a good experience both with fellow employees and customers coming in and out the door. I see there's a barbecue over there. I know I've heard a tale of you guys going on trips together. Tell me a little about that dynamic and how that's affected your ability to retain talent. So... Once or twice a year, we try and take a company trip. Usually we end up going to Lake Powell since Luke, the owner, has a houseboat there. That's one of our common spots to go and hang out and just enjoy ourselves, relax as a group. We also do have barbecues at the shop, get everybody together for lunch, and customers happen to show up during that time. They usually get an invite, whether we're, we're, fed too, huh? we're making burgers or doing a fish fry. You say you have camaraderie. Do you guys ever play practical jokes on each other? We do. We definitely do. Over the years, there's been a couple things. For a while, we actually had rubber band wars fairly regularly. Yeah, I remember seeing those in the office and in the shop. Why did you guys ever get out of that? It became a, too much of a distraction, I think. Everybody was on edge. Anytime they had their hands up underneath the car and couldn't move, they'd get shot. So for the benefit of getting work done, I think we had to do away with that one. I genuinely appreciate you taking the time. Is there anything that I don't know about you and BNI or Absolute that you'd like to make? I don't think so. I'm a pretty open book, and so there's really nothing. But all the pages are playing. Maybe you just aren't asking the right questions. So tell me a little bit about uh, your personal life, just talking about your family in general. My wife and I have been married coming up on two years now. We've been together for seven, actually it could be eight here, about a month. Beyond that, we have four cats and somewhere around 20 to 30 African cichlids. So they have a warmer climate than your typical goldfish. So we keep the tank heated. And then you've got other pets as well. Two dogs, Corgi and a Border Collie Corgi mix. So they're little, but they're still feisty. A little bit. They're very feisty when they need to be or when they want to be. We also have four cats. One's about eight and the youngest is about seven. Just to sum up here real quickly, it was good to get to know a little bit more about what Absolute does, knowing that you have been part of BNI for so long. What makes a really good lead for you? Really anybody that doesn't know about their car and is trying to find a reliable mechanic that's going to be honest with them. Anybody who wants to learn more about why their car failed, we try to be as thorough as possible when explaining problems and solutions to the customer. And if you were to pick perfect customer, who would that be? 
I wouldn't say we have necessarily a perfect customer. Our preferred vehicles we work on may be a better option. We work on a lot of Chevy, Ford, Dodge, diesel trucks, but we work on just about everything. We go into basically full engine teardowns to find problems on anything but about BMWs, Audis, and Volkswagens. People with diesel trucks that are wanting to do novelty performance upgrades or lift hits as well. So Austin, I want to tell you, I really appreciate you taking the time to kick off the first episode. I know we had some technical issues. Hopefully those have been resolved and we'll learn from this and carry it forward for the next version of your patience has always been your virtue. That and the fact that if you're complaining, you do something about it. If you guys uh, get a chance to check out Absolute Automotive, they do top quality work. You can trust experts that work on the car, the experts that explain systems and troubleshoot your vehicles because after all, they're big investments these days. It's nice to have someone that you can trust or someone in the family that you can trust. Over the years, as I've seen, Austin interact with customers. He treats them as well as he would any member of his family. Thank you for joining us. And again, Austin, thank you for joining us and taking some time. This is a pilot edition and uh, hopefully we didn't make it too excruciating. And you have two people here that know each other really well. And it's what questions do I ask that I don't already know answers to. Thanks for humoring us. And we look forward to catching you the next time on the one-to-one podcast by Matt Malunke with Zing Business Systems.